Hello there, my name is Ismas and today I want to show you how to use the textures folder add-on for Blender. And what it does, it just changes the way you import textures into Blender. Gone are the days of trying to remember what texture folder where you have a specific texture you want to use in your project or trying to load in one by one PBR texture image into your PBR shader. Now this can all be done in a single click. Let me try to show you. Let's have a terrace here. Say I have a PBR texture of wood and I want to add it to this object. If I know where my PBR shaders are, I can just go to, to link new texture folder and navigate where you have your PBR textures. For example, I have my PBR textures under my PBR folder. And inside that PBR folder, I've categorized all my PBRs into different folders. So you can see I have wood, towels, plastics, plants, metals, and others. And inside these folders, you can see the usable PBR textures that I have there. This is what you usually get on sites like texturehaven.com or, or what Substance Painter will save onto your drive when you export the textures. A folder like this, Will contain a bunch of images for example for this one we have ambient occlusion we have alpha we have normal maps we have roughness i have height map and albedo i usually the normal way was usually selecting each each image one by one and connecting it to the pbr shader or if you use the node wrangler add-on sometimes it will help you import the textures but sometimes it would not depending on the the naming convention but this add-on uh, the Texas folder add-on that I've created will work for any naming conventions uh, that you might have. So let's give this a try. If I want to import the entire wood folder I just have to go to the directory with all the wooden PBR textures like you see here all still in their folders. Hit link new texture folder and you get this success message and uh, if you click the preview you see that we won't be seeing anything here to see the PBR textures themselves you have, you have to check the load as PBR folders and if I click on this and check again you can see that all my textures have been loaded. To get any of these here, say for example, if I select this, as long as I have the object selected, create PBR shader, and a new material will be set up with the PBR textures connected to the principal BSDF shader. Like you see, if it has a normal map, it will be connected to the normal map. If it has a roughness, that will be connected to the roughness. If it has an ambient occlusion shader, that will be mixed with the color shader and then multiplied to go into the base color. It is done like this because this is normally what is expected with the ambient occlusion. You mix it, you multiply it out to the, out to the color or the albedo out to get the final color. This also has an alpha channel and you can see that has also been connected to the alpha node in the principal shader. So this is my wooden uh, folder and you can see the mapping nodes are already set up for you as well. I can continue to link more folders. For example, if I go back, I have some tiles here. And because of the way I named these folders, it can be really difficult to tell how the tile looks without going into the folder itself, which makes it harder to work. So by just linking the tiles folder, I get some nice thumbnails to look at here. I can get this, create PBR shader, and you can see I get that. And see this one doesn't have the ambient occlusion so that was not mixed in. Another cool thing about this add-on, you're not only limited to PBR textures, you can also link your normal textures. So for example, if I go into my resources and uh, just find something random like this, click link, you can see I've linked my details folder which contains other simple textures. Now you see when I click this, I don't get anything because I have checked in lock as PBR folders and this will detect, will check to see if there are any PBR folders in that folder and try to load those only. If you don't have this checked, then it will load the images themselves. So I can select any of these. Let's get maybe this. If you already have a material setup like this and you just want to use this texture inside the shader, you can just hit import as texture node and that will be imported as the texture node. And if I preview this, you can see uh, that's the image. Now you can use it as a normal texture within your shader as you want. If you want to create this image as a PBR shader, the add-on will try to set up a basic shader. It's, it is not going to be a PBR, an exact PBR shader because you lack the corresponding inputs for the PBR, for example, the roughness, the metallic, the specular, and other nodes. So just try to fake if you want, you can also import this as a texture on a plane. As you can see, let's try a different shader. You can see something like this. And if you want to remove any folders from your library, you just use the remove folder and it will remove that folder. It will default back to the default folder, but you can switch between any folders you want. You can even load in another folder, the metals folder, create, and I can switch between that as well. And that's it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.